Here today we have a beautiful painting of the village of Bloomington and it's based on a period of time from anywhere from 1900 to 1910 and we're looking at it from the south side here or on the other side of the creek and it looks like it's got a lot of water but it did back in those days you had a lot of springs that fed things and that changed somewhat over the years so that's not unusual in the old days there in the winter time they could cut ice out of there when they had an ice house things like that so the creek was always very important think always remember that when you see that any of our pictures and in the village here uh, we see on this side which would be Brooklyn what we call Brooklyn why because there's two bridges you have the street bridge here and up here what would be is now the second street but at that time it was just a footbridge so those were the two ways to get over to the other side of town or to the Brooklyn side on the east side. Also, you see the highway has changed. This is where it originally was back at that period of time. Now it's right up behind the brick house. And you'll see there's a brick wall built along the highway there in order to help protect uh, the land there holding the house. The mill still exists, but it looks a little bit different probably nowadays, but still here. Right behind it, we have the Red Horse Barn, and that had very famous race horses kept in it for many, many years. Over the years, different people owned it. Towards the end, Charlie Grass used to store some of the old automobiles down there. Before the, bill, before the valley got filled in. It's been filled in, so it looks very, very different uh, nowadays. Uh, this was a house here for a while, and that is gone. And there were some other buildings which existed where a parking lot is now. Uh, so that's changed quite a bit. Here we have the uh, hotel which that ended, I think, about in maybe 1889. Not sure exactly here, but that was torn down. See, behind there were two of the barns because you had to have some place to keep horses, your transportation, and a lot of places around town so you could have maybe a milk cow or something. So little barns were very plentiful. Way up here, you can see the steeple from the original Catholic Church. I think that was about 1899 when that was built. In the 1940s, the second one or current Catholic Church was built. Over here, the original high school, uh, 1886, and that started having problems with the brick veneer wanting to come loose and so on. So about 1924, 25 here, uh, building the uh, second high school started. But they wanted to tear the original one down first, so school was kept in some of the uh, church buildings for a while. Over here, you would see the uh, rock school. That goes back to 1870. And a lot of the back street, what we think of as the back street there, of course, that has changed immensely here over the years. So it's hard to kind of recognize some of the buildings. Plus you have a telephoto effect here where things kind of get squeezed together a little bit more. But uh, done by Kathy Martin. And she did this originally from an old black and white picture, much smaller. She's had draftsman's training and different things, so she got that all figured out so that things have the correct proportion. When you look at the fences and so on, and whether there's cattle or anything, all the detail is there. Her detail is magnificent. And so this is kind of our pride and joy possession here in the history room. In the future, we may talk about, we'll be talking about some of the other pictures that she did.